we're very close to Mark, our family, right? And I know it sounds quite an odd thing to sit here and say to you in circumstances, but we personally think a great deal of the man and he has been an inspiration to my mother and helped her overcome an illness. Mark said to me um, how grateful he is to you in, his, in his, his very recent letter he said how wonderful he, he thinks that it is that you've done this thing and I believe you've had a letter from him yourself haven't you? I think for the entire world that you know he can educate a lot of people being behind bars inside and outside He's, he's a wonderful communicator and the amount of people all over the world that have contacted me on via the internet and via the telephone and that and said he's done he's done he's had this positive influence in my life and and a lady from Germany who was saying about her own depression my own mother has now moved into her, uh, her own little house after being in care for five years and it's it was down to him Ray seriously it was down to him we human beings we make mistakes and we learn and some some people they even never learn from the mistake but in this case mark has learned and uh, you know uh, now since he has changed and he has learned definitely he can impact many other people who are not wise enough to make a smart decision victims are support and survivors are supposed to have rights and in death penalty cases in Texas, that right to date has been non-existent. There has never been anything shown by the state of Texas that recognizes the rights of survivors or victims' family members. So it either is a part of the criminal justice system or it isn't. And hopefully this case will move this into the public debate as to what is Texas's commitment to people's rights who survive terrible crimes. Mark may have done something terrible, but he's not that person. He's never been that terrible a person for the rest of his life. It was a horrible crime took place, but now we have options. Do you want to live the way we, we lived 10 years back? Or you want to move forward? We have no control what happened in the past, but we have control in the future by doing the right thing.